Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and today we're gonna be drawing a really fun, magical creature. Today we're gonna be drawing a fairy. Now actually this is a request from my daughter who absolutely loves fairies. In fact, in our backyard, in our little garden, she has a little fairy village that she's created. So, I know she's gonna be happy, but are you guys excited to draw a fairy today? Awesome, okay, well you should be. They're really, really fun to draw and you can customize them, make them however you like. So, let's make sure we have all of our tools before we get started and let's go. All right, make sure you have a nice clean sheet of paper out. You're gonna need a pencil for our sketching and make sure you have an eraser of some kind handy because not only are we gonna make mistakes, but we're also going to, at the end, do a little bit of outlining with a dark marker or a pen and then we're gonna have that sketch underneath. So you're gonna wanna get rid of that with an eraser. And at the very, very end, we're gonna do some coloring, which I'm very excited about here with our fairy, and hopefully you guys have a lot of fun with the colors on this one. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the sketch. My fairy is going to be a female, and you know what, maybe I'll just name her Oakley. <laughs> I think I've already named something Oakley before that I've drawn, but uh, I'm gonna name this one Oakley as well. It just seems so fitting. The first thing I wanna do is figure out the form of our fairy, and then I can kind of build around that. So let's start maybe with uh, the head. So I'm gonna do kind of a, let's see, let's do if I, I'm gonna do kind of an oval here for her head. And this might be too big, that's why I'm kind of doing a sketch early so I know kind of where things are and then I can see if they're equally proportioned, if they're the right size compared to each other. So I'm gonna do a little neck right there. And then we'll give her some shoulders. I'm just gonna have her flying right here. I wanna make sure I have room for her wings. And uh, you can make those, I've seen them as butterfly wings, I've seen them as they look like little insect wings. I'm sure there's tons and tons of different kinds of fairies. There's so many different versions of fairies that people have drawn, so make this whatever you'd like. So now I got kind of the idea where the shoulders are. Let's figure out her main body is probably gonna be. So I'll angle it in just a little bit like this. We're gonna make her really teeny tiny. And we'll, we can change some things, but just a couple little angled lines right there. We're gonna do a few little lines right around here just for like a, kind of her waist. And I thought that was too far, so that's why we have our eraser. But now I need to kind of, I think maybe you could do like a little flower, however you wanna do her skirt. Maybe it's a big dress, maybe she has, I don't know, maybe she has pants on. Maybe she has sweatpants on. This is a very comfortable fairy. <laughs> but I'm gonna draw a couple little curved lines out here because I kind of want her dress to, or her skirt to kind of bell out like this. And maybe it is a flower. Maybe she's wearing a flower as a, as a skirt. That'd be kind of cool. You kind of got to decide when you're making these kind of choices, you got to figure out what kind of, well, I'll just go like this first before I do any decorative stuff. You have to figure out what kind of fairy you're doing. Is this a fairy that lives in the forest? Hmm, maybe. Maybe this is like a Tinkerbell. <laughs> I'm kind of getting some inspiration from Tinkerbell because my, my daughter loves watching those movies. Not just Peter Pan, but the movies. She really likes those movies. I'm not sure if any of you have seen those ones. They're pretty good. All right, so now that we have kind of the dress, we got her head, we know where that is. Now we gotta draw her legs kind of dangling down here. So I'm gonna do, maybe have them off to the side just a little bit so we can see them clearly. Now what I'm gonna do is I'll, I like to draw through the clothing, because I don't like to do the clothing too soon because I don't really know how long the legs are. And it's kind of important to know how long the legs are underneath there because if you don't, then sometimes they become really stubby or really, really long and it just looks weird and you can't figure out why. So this way we can kind of see, that's why we're, we're doing it with a pencil so we can kind of see what's going on to there. So, okay. So maybe I like that look and her legs going like that. That doesn't look like they're too long compared to her torso. This part right here, so your chest and your stomach and all that is your torso. So maybe, I will say maybe this knee needs to kind of happen a little sooner. And that's what, oh no, I drew on there. It's <laughs> all right. All right, so that's why I like to draw through because I like to see where those joints are too. And this I'm not really gonna give her joints because it's gonna be kind of curved. All right, so now we have her head, her body, her legs. We gotta draw her arms now. I think I'm gonna have her have her arms to the side just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of build off of the shoulders that I've already made. You don't want to give the shoulders too big if it's a if it's a female because then it looks like a lot of times guys have broader shoulders. It's just how we're built. 
And so not all the time, but most of the time. So I'm going to kind of round off these shoulders and make sure she doesn't have two. I don't want her to look like a linebacker in football. <laughs> so I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to kind of curve it out. So kind of like a little S shape. See? And we'll do the same thing on this side. Right here, we're going to kind of go down and kind of go a little backwards S. You can see where we're going with this, can't you? All right, so we have the main stick figure body. We're really good at drawing stick figures. Now, everybody you know, starts off drawing stick figures, but I think it's important to do it even if you, you're gonna go past a stick figure drawing, that if you start this way, you can kind of figure out where everything is. And then we'll start building around it. All right, so now we just need to thicken these lines up and make her arms like that. We'll start on the inside here, kind of follow it, maybe get a little bit smaller. That's called tapering if it goes from big to small or small to big. We'll kind of taper it off here. I'm not going to tackle the hands and feet yet. We'll do that in a second. We're trying to get the main stuff first. Okay, then we got our neck right there. Maybe we'll give her a little necklace. Now that's something that you can choose to do however you want to do that. But I'm thinking I'll probably give her a necklace, so I'll just leave that there. But I'm also going to give the top of her her dress here, do a little line across there, and then maybe right here where there it joins, I'm just going to do a couple lines there just to have the straps for her dress. There we are. That's, that could be a shirt under there if you want, but I think this is just going to be more of a, I'm going to draw it right now, it's going to be more of like a little flower necklace. How fun is that? And again, yours can be whatever you'd like. Mine's going to be kind of a foresty, flowery fairy. <laughs> I'm kind of making it up as I go. So let's now make sure that we have this shape that we want. I like to give, I like to make the heads a little bit bigger when I draw people because I love drawing all the features on people's faces. And I love to emphasize, that means call attention to, uh, a lot of the, the parts of the body that I feel like are the most interesting, like your eyes. I feel like those are very, very interesting. So I want to give her some bright, friendly eyes. Now, not all fairies are friendly, I found out. There's some mean fairies and there's some good fairies. I'm, of course, going to draw a good fairy, but you can draw what you would like. And I think what I'm going to do is give her a little, little nose. I'll just kind of do it upside down, you. And then I'm going to draw her eyes kind of like two leaves. Leaf right there. And it looks a little creepy at first. Looks a little alien at first, but we'll fix that. <laughs> it will look normal here in a second. So let's add the little pupil in there. Have her looking down maybe a little bit. Maybe her eye maybe needs to go over a little bit. There we go. Have her looking down. And then, let's see, let's give her a little mouth. Let me give her a little happy open mouth. And then maybe just darken the bottom and leave a little bit on the top so you can see just her top of her teeth. I think that'll be pretty cute. And fairies have little pointy ears. So I'm going to give her some pointy ears here. Kind of like the leaf that I did before, like that. And, a lot, and some of this will be covered up by hair. And maybe you don't even see ears on yours because you have a, you're going to make longer hair or something like that. So she doesn't have to have hair. She looks kind of she looks kind of cool this way. But I think I'm going to give her a little short. Is it, I think it's called a pixie cut. Now I don't know hairdos that well. Women's hair does that well, but I think it's called a pixie cut. And that makes a lot of sense with fairies, doesn't it? <laughs> well, don't they use pixie dust to, to fly around and stuff? Okay, you can tell my, my fairy knowledge is a little limited. Because there's just, people have drawn so many different fairies and come up with so many different stories around fairies that it's hard to just say which one was right. They're just a bunch of different ones. Everybody's kind of right. That might be a little bit too high there on the hair. You know what I'm going to do? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to actually just erase the top of her head right here because I'm going to put hair there instead. And I, I might want to do the bangs first just to kind of see 
where the rest of the hair is going to go. So I'll go like that. And then I'm going to, maybe I'll just kind of go like this. Give her a little bit of a poof of hair up on the top there. There we go. I like that. There. And maybe we should have a little headband in there. You can just follow that original line that you had for the head. And let's just make a little headband. Oh, I like that a lot. That'll look really good. Maybe she has a little, maybe we'll give her a little flip of hair on the sides here too. Oh, cute. I like that. Okay, so we got her hair done, her face pretty much done. If this needs to be thicker, that's fine. Let's work on the legs first. So I'm going to kind of give her a little bit of, sometimes I like to build on either side of the, the limbs, which are like your legs and your arms. That way I can kind of see the right, just how thick it should be. So kind of build around that. I'm going to make it get a little smaller as it goes down. Like that. And see how scratchy I'm being right there? That's okay. That, that, that mess is a good mess. That means you're figuring things out. You're solving problems on the go. I'm going to draw little curves right here for her feet. There we are. And then if you need to go back over it a little bit, just to make sure you have the lines that you want, that's a good idea. And so now you can go in there. Maybe I'll just use this. I'm going to erase the insides. Erase the insides. Erase this, because now we know we like her legs where they're at, at the size they're at. There we go. And then... We can kind of, maybe we'll add little shoes on here, little slippers type shoes, little curves. You see that? Tiny little lines right there. Now I remember on Tinkerbell, she had like a little, little ball right there on the tips of her, of her shoes and you can add those on there. You could decorate your fairy and you could dress her however you'd like. I think I want to do a little bit of decorative um, pattern at the bottom of her, her skirt here. I think that would be kind of cool. So I'll kind of do this little, curve here, almost like waves, but maybe a little bit pointier. I don't know. Like that. Oh, I like that. That's kind of cool. Her arms are a little, her arms got a little thin there. There we go. We can thicken that up just a little bit. Maybe we'll bring this in just a little bit right there. Oh, it's starting to come together. She's starting to come alive. Now let's see if we can put her hands on here. Let's see if we can add her hands. Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing uh, hands, because you know, hands are hard. Little fingers and, and even toes, I'll give it to you, is, uh, is hard to do. And I think the main reason why they're so hard is because it's hard to draw them thin enough, um, or when you're talking about like fingers, uh, and it's human and it's a lot easier to draw like a paw and things because it's not human you can kind of get away with more but when it's humans sometimes you get a little caught up and want to make it look just like your hands because you see them all the time so you know what they look like but so when you draw it wrong you know it looks wrong all right so i'm just going to kind of start by giving her like a little this is what i do i'm going to give her a little mitt right here like that really faint don't don't need to draw it too too dark and then give her a little thumb right here. Remember your thumbs are on the inside towards your body. So this one's facing her body. So we're going to make sure her thumbs right there. Same thing on the other side. We're going to make sure she's got a little mitt right here. You'll see why we're doing the mitt. Now, if you want to keep it as a little, little mitten, cause that's just the style you want to go for. You could do that. You could definitely do that. But what I'm going to do, and maybe I'll, I'll zoom in here for a second so you can see the, the fingers a little bit better. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is kind of draw where the, where the fingers are going to go. Like that. Draw the little lines to kind of separate the fingers. Like that. And then you just connect them. Like that. I don't know if you could see that too well. But we got our little fairy 
fingers on there. <laughs> now it's going to be a little bit tricky. I'm not going to draw all five. I'm going to redo this one a little bit. I'm not going to draw all five because the problem with that is, is it might, it's just a little too small. And the other hand, the other finger's probably on the other side and you just can't see it. But I want to make sure that they're nice and little dainty hands. There we go. Okay, I think that's good. And we can clean up a little bit with the marker. I'm a little worried that my marker's not going to be thin enough anyways. It's going to be too thick. So it might, uh, it might look a little funky regardless. It might look more mitten-like. All right, now I think we should do the wings. Let's do the wings so we can fit these in here. I think I left enough room to have her kind of flying here. So let's kind of draw through really lightly so we can kind of get the right shape. I want to do kind of a, look a little butterfly-y, but not full butterfly. So I'm going to kind of do this shape right here. I'm going to kind of go over like that. I'm going to do the same one over here while I'm already in that zone. Oops, I moved my whole thing. Now, they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be perfectly symmetrical. So don't get too stressed if they're not exactly the same. But just kind of try to do the same idea on both sides. There we go. So we got that. And then I'm going to draw kind of a kind of butterfly-y right here. Maybe a little bit more. A little bit of that. Got to get that curve in there. There you go. We'll put them around the hands so we don't put too many lines around the hands. That's kind of a, that's a conscious decision that I made. I wanted to make sure that the hands weren't covered by anything, by one of these lines, because they're already small, like I said. They're already detailed as is. We don't want to lose them, lose that detail. Okay, so now we can erase the stuff on the inside. So we remember not to go over it with our marker, which we're going to do next. All right. Oh, there we go. Cute little wings that she has. Now, I think the last little bit that I want to do on here uh, is just to kind of give her dress a little bit more of a, a little more style on her dress. So maybe on the top of this, it's kind of got like a little folded over area, kind of like that. I like the look of that. Maybe, maybe it's got a cool little layered skirt right here. There we go. Awesome. And just one little fun fact about fairies that uh, I did learn is that they do like sparkly things. They're a lot like a, uh, I feel like raccoons like that kind of stuff too. Shiny objects they like to go to. But uh, fairies do like sparkly, shiny things as well. And they like to give gifts and receive gifts. So the story goes. So anyways, I think I'm pretty good at this point. I don't know if I need to add anything else. Uh, maybe I want to do a pattern in here. Maybe the pattern I'm going to do is kind of like this, but I don't know if I'm going to, I might just do that with my colors, but I'm going to add some fun little shapes and things in the wings, kind of like a butterfly. Um, but I don't think you need to follow me around and do the outline. I think I'll let you go ahead and outline your drawing. So if you need to pause to catch up, go ahead and do that. Uh, otherwise just start outlining yours with a dark marker or a pen. And then we'll just meet up when we're finished. How does that sound? Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. finished, but I'm very, very close here, but I wanted to draw this last or color in this last part with you uh, just in case you were following along and wanted to know what I was doing. So with the wings, I wanted to just take like a purple color over top of my pink, something darker. That's all it is. And then I'm going to draw my, my, uh, my pattern in the wings like that. Look, maybe something, yeah, something like that. And I'll do the same thing kind of over here. We have it go around the hand a little. Does that look good? There we go. Like that. Have her bring it in. And then again, we'll just kind of go around over here. 
there. Maybe we'll add a few little uh, extra little details on either side as well. These little circles, I like the look of those. Well, awesome. Okay, I love how this turned out. Maybe the last little thing that you may want to do is maybe you want to draw a little, uh, maybe we'll draw a little, what was it, maybe this color, this color pink. No, we'll do it with purple. I'm going to draw little sparkles kind of all around my, my fairy here because she's magical. <laughs> you can add some sparkles or whatever you want around your fairies. Maybe it'd be kind of fun to do that. So I'm gonna do a few of those here and maybe some little dots over here for the pixie dust. Let's do that. Doot, doot, doot. Just a few little lines over here. Maybe another little star, a little sparkle, I should say, all around there. The only thing you don't wanna put around your fairy is iron. Iron depletes them of their powers, takes away their powers, and they get trapped in it. So we'll stay away from iron. We'll just stick with our little sparkles. But uh, I think I'm all done here. I kind of made her a little tiny, but I think that's fitting. It is kind of small on my page, but she's also very, very small. So I'm really happy with how Oakley, my fairy, turned out. And hopefully you had a really fun time and you just had fun with the colors and maybe the hair and what your fairy's wearing. I think it'd be a lot of fun just to kind of customize it to what you want to do. But I'm excited and proud of what I've made, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign my name at the bottom. You should do the same as well. Oops, marker cut out. So everybody knows that it's you who made it and you're the artist. So thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching today. Now, like I said, I love seeing what you guys create and today's no different. So I wanna show off your work because today is Friday, it's the end of the week. And I have a gallery at the very end showing off some of your work. Hopefully yours is in there. Uh, so stick around for that. And uh, yeah, before I let you go, remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. All right, we'll see you guys next time.